hi everyone catch up time i've got quite a few bits and bobs to do but i'm getting there so i'm going to do a couple of different videos i've just done my emmy van der Waal for her little crochet outfit which is really cute and now i'm going to have a look at some charity shop finds now i've had these a little while um, I've just sort of been building them up so I've got from different types of charity shops over a period of time now I have them on the table below me a little bit hard to pick up I am afraid I will put some pictures on the thumbnail so you'll know what it's going to be we're going to have a look at them some are not mine some are going to be for my granddaughter but uh, she's let me keep it just so I can do the video so we're going to be having a look I've got a variety of dolls we've got a poopsie we have a I forgot the name I'll tell you in a minute um I've got a clone Cindy as well which I picked up for a pound but she's very loose in the body so I'm hoping somebody's going to help me a little bit with that I'm not quite sure I had to get her because she was just sat there bless her um obviously nobody knew who she was or what she was and she's a clone she's not a genuine cindy but she is quite cute and she's vintage even though the clones don't forget some of these clones now we're looking at are 50 60 years plus so they're becoming collectible in their own right although as i said she's not a genuine cindy she's probably been a reproduction from china something like that but yeah there's a couple of bits and bobs on here like i say some will be mine some will be my granddaughters but we'll have a little look give me some advice see what you think let me know what you've recently found in your charity shops too and i will see you in a moment with a slightly croaky voice by the sound of it i think i need to get a drink before i start doing the next bit so top down and we'll have a little look at what I've got. Yay, we have a charity shop haul. And as I mentioned, it's not all mine. I won't be keeping some of this. Um, but my granddaughter did let me keep hold of them. That's very kind of her. So as I could do the video, she's chomping at the bit for me to get to it so she can get them back. And I've had the items a few weeks now, so I'm probably in bother. So as you can see, I've just piled it all in here. And I think we're going to start from this end. And I think we'll all know what that is. So we'll move these over just for a second. And we'll have a look at the poopsie. Now, I've already got a poopsie. So this one is going to be for my granddaughter. She does need a little bit of a wash. Sort of her hair needs a little bit of a tidy up. We only paid £2 for it. So I was quite pleased because my poopsie didn't actually have any dress, any outfits. I've had to put an outfit on her. And she also didn't have any shoes. Now, the only thing is, are these shoes meant to have heels? I know it's all this sort of gooey stuff that they use. It was um, like a slime type product that they use. Because she did come with a little jacket as well. But that's got the slime all sort of, well, it's, I can't think of the word. It's dehydrated for want of a better word. And it's all gone crispy. We've got to clean it all out. But she has got a jacket as well. But I don't know. Are the shoes meant to be like that? Or did they have some sort of extra piece? Because I suspect there has been some slime somewhere around that shoe. It just feels like that. So I don't know. Is that a complete shoe? My girl doesn't have shoes, but uh, that's okay. Um, but I know the dress, again, I think they've got like this little plastic liner. I mean, there's a really cute little sequin dress she's got on top. So it's nice that she's got her outfit. She's pretty clean generally. She just needs a little wipe down. And as I said, this hair needs a bit of TLC. And she's got a little bit of dirt on her face. But she's a lovely little doll. And for £2, as I say, she's going to be my granddaughter. It's not mine. I've got one. I don't need another one. And it's exactly the same one that i've got but i was just curious to know is that how that's meant to be or should there be like a heel that clicks on or something like that please let me know if you know so that's our poopsie let's move along we have a descendants let me get that right who has actually got her shoes taped up now i'm so i've had it for a while i've not even took this off um do love these little shoes Look at that, they're so cute, like little pumps. I'm glad they've done that though, because then at least you know you've got them. Now, I think this is her outfit from what I've seen. I was a bit concerned at first. I thought, oh dear, you know, somebody's chopped her hair. But again, trying to have a little look online at pictures. I think she does have the shorter hair and then she does have these that come down. I do like the Disney Descendants. I think they're really, really pretty dolls. So her hair, again, needs some TLC, popping into shape. But otherwise, she's pretty good, isn't she? I mean, the outfit is nice. Um, I'm presuming it's hers because of the colouring. I could be wrong. Again, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Is there anything that says anything in the dress? There's no labels. 
so there's no labels so it's, it's not helping me at all there obviously on the back we have got hasbro 2014 has it really been that long and disney there at the top so otherwise great doll i think this one i've not got a price tag on i think this one was three pounds and um, this was one from one of the charity shops. I mean, three pounds, brilliant still. But this is from one of the charity shops that the prices are a little bit higher. I think they pop on eBay before they put their stuff out. But I don't mind playing it if it's the price or it's, some, or it's something I really want, which is fine. But she just needs, again, a little bit of clean up. I think her lip is caught, is it? No, that's shadow. Her lip's perfect and her face is perfect. I love the articulation on these. They've got really, I mean, look how delicate that little hand is there. I think that's really, really cute. I do love these dolls i have a few i'm just looking around where i've put them actually because my shelves are all over the place yeah because i've got um mulan's daughter isn't it i have alice in wonderland one i have cruella de Vil's son uh, and now i have this one so i do like them i really do like but i only pick them up if i happen to see one in a charity shop cheap enough so over you go, Miss Descendant. Now, again, this one was just for a bit of fun. I thought it might be quite nice to do some photographs. It's a Barbie one. Yay, it's Barbie. How did we guess? It says Barbie all over it. £1.50. Great for a photo shoot. Pop a Barbie or Cindy. Any doll, really. Any fashion size doll. I presume that's to sit a little pet in there. But again, for £1.50, quite good condition. Nothing's broken. Oh, no, there's something missing. There is the stand missing. But again, if I'm going to do a photo, I can sort of just lean it and position it. And then I can take the photos and that'll be it. So that's probably just a photo prop, to be perfectly honest. But I am really pleased with it and great price. Now we have this little chap. We have, I don't know what the little boy is called from the barbie collection but he is really cute he's got his little emoji jumpsuit on here because it is a, it is a one piece that he's got he does have the molded hair um like a lot of the kens have it's a nice hairstyle and i suppose i must admit if it was made out of hair you might end up with this scenario so his hair might not be so great so i don't know which is the best this, this could be quite good actually but he's clean condition he cost us 20 pence so again what a bargain so i was really pleased with him so i'll pop him there as well oh, put your arm down there missus now before i get onto the clone cindy which as you can see is there i just thought i'd mention these now i think we can all guess what they come from of course they are from frozen um i thought they were nice sort of pipperish sort of size 12th scale um i thought well perhaps i could spray them at first and paint them up make them look different you know a little nice set of wardrobes and again i have got the price on these i'm pretty sure they were in like a a bundle of bits and bobs that, that are inside and i think they were again they were about three pound so we have some bits in here the wardrobe's quite cute there's nothing in that one is there but yes yeah, so you've got little hangers and things so that's quite nice also you got this which i thought again pippa size a little bit too tall perhaps but i do have a haberdashery shop and again i would paint it up i don't want to leave it looking frozen-esque i would want it looking a little bit sort of i don't know more as if it's in a real shop but i don't know a little bit of painting put a dress on it and i can pop it in my haberdasher so that'll be quite cute and in here are the other bits and pieces now we have a cape now essentially that is sort of for that but that's not something i'm bothered about for that one so let's have a look what else we've got with our shoes as you can see there were shoes so i have to have shoes we do have this and again these are only actually stuck on look it's already peeling off so i thought again little paint up we've got a nice little sort of uh, what's it called a screen dear me i definitely can't think what i'm saying today so they does clip together it's not broken i did check that i just took it apart so it could slip back in the wardrobe so yeah again doll's house size pippa size it makes a nice little screen painted up pop some other bits on here some sort of pictures or decoupage or something like that that will match in with the doll i want it for so i thought that was quite good that obviously doesn't have its thing there's always a few broken bits but that's not the end of the world we have a little crown again look how cute that is and then the shoes now i'm quite sad oh it's a little tiny coat hanger there that's cute i was quite sad to see they were a little bit odd but i do get a pair i would have loved the other one to go with that now that would have been really nice because these again will fit on the pippa doll um those because obviously they've got a bend to them 
that they will actually go on the doll. So I like shoes, so it was a good excuse. I'm sure there was another blue one. I think I probably dropped it out somewhere. I will have to have a rummage. They were usually in the bottom of a bag, so that's probably where they are. So it was sort of more for the accessory bits, and I'm not quite sure whether I want both wardrobes, but again, I know somebody will quite happily take that. Uh, and I wanted that for my haberdashery shop for a couple of pounds. I was quite pleased with that. I'm sure it was about three pounds. It certainly wouldn't have been more. They bag these sort of like a little plastic bag with bits and bobs in and that's what it was in and these bags are usually two to three pounds so that's quite good now getting on to the one i want some help on it is this little girl here now as you can see she cost me one pound and also you can see she's a little loose she's a little rattly in there everything's sort of all rattly as i say she is a clone but look how good their faces were they were pretty good, you know, these clones. Obviously, the quality is not there because of the looseness. But I don't know. This is where I need the help. I don't know whether I can take these out. I know some cheap dolls, their arms would like come out. I mean, we say cheap, but to be honest, she's pretty solid. You know, she's not overly plastic. I mean, the dress clearly isn't a Cindy dress. It's just one that somebody's popped on. Um, but she's very, very, very similar to the pedigree cindy but i'm pretty sure at this point it was pedigree that made them so that was here in the uk this is made in hong kong and uh, a little bit of bit of hair damage there uh, somebody's had a little trim of some bits and bobs but i think she probably did have short hair anyway um yeah it is it's not in great condition but she was sat there in with all the others and i thought well no one else is going to buy her other you know a child's not going to come in and buy a doll that looks this old um because there were barbies there and things and obviously that is where they would run to so i thought for a pound it was worth a go see whether i can do anything with her i say it's very very loose that leg's okay actually the legs are okay that way but they are a bit that one's not bad but that one's a bit it sort of drops not you can see it's a bit loose like that it was the arms and the head more than anything else this is not my generation of cindy's the ones i've got are the ones that have got like the ball and the head sits on the top this is the older style where the head sits inside the body you see i can't see anywhere where i would actually be able to get in there um i know i can remember i had a paul doll that was like that and i was always scared his head was going to break here Whereas at least with the others, the head plops on the top. So it's not so bad. But she's quite cute. And for a clone, if, I'm sure she's, she is a clone, isn't she? I am right in saying she's a clone. Um, I know I've got, um, in fact, I don't know where she is. I've popped her to one side to keep her safe. I've actually got a proper sort of vintage Cindy, pedigree Cindy one. And yeah, I mean, they do look good for a clone but she's just this loosey-goosey bit that i need to sort out so that's it really that was my little collection let's put your little dress over you like that missus i was quite pleased with that i've got bits for some photos like i say i've got another certain somebody having some of them anyway so it was a nice little collection generally so that's my charity shop sharing today hope you enjoyed it i certainly enjoyed buying them i'm going to look forward to getting some work done on them although as i've mentioned before my work box of making dolls tidy etc is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and i'm not getting around to it but at the moment we've got dolly con coming up that's my priority i've got so many things to make still i've got bags to do also I've got so many things i'm getting there and i'm loving it um but i have only got just over a month for that so i do need to concentrate on that a little bit enjoying my videos Please like, subscribe and share, etc, etc. Give me that thumbs up on there. Please pop a comment, as I've mentioned before. Let me know what you've got. See if you've got any bargains. I know some of you get way better bargains than we do around here. And then there's some people I know are saying, sort of, sadly, they don't really have any charity shops and things like that. But there you go. Let me know. I will see you all very soon. I've got a couple of other videos to sort out, hopefully, this week. And I will be back to you very soon. Bye-bye for now.